Hey, I'm Tom from Dombroco. And I'm Sai from Dombroco. And we're here at Decoy Studios in Suffolk. And we're releasing the Dombroco Dine IR Cab Collection. We are capturing the essence of the cabs that we use to record our albums with and that we have used live in various scenarios, haven't we? Absolutely. We love Decoy, it's a great vibe here. It's uh, where we recorded our last record, Amazing Things. If you want to be kind of dynamic and modular about the way you're making a record, there's so much space here to be able to do that. I guess we do so much at home that when you get to come somewhere like this, it's like wicked. We get to actually play with hardware and, and you know that kind of element to it, which is awesome. The one rule which frustrates every producer we ever work with is I won't layer guitars. If I can't recreate the guitar faithfully live from a parts point of view, then it, it doesn't go in. Yeah. And the producers hate that. <laughs> it's one of those things though as well because you have to be more creative by doing that. It forces you to be more creative. If you're a two guitar band, you can just stick the rhythm part in and then noodle over the top rather than really thinking about how is this part working with everything. Recently we did a track which we recorded, most of it not in the studio, we wanted to see how far we could push the recording process and guitars and if you want to use real amps and real cabs you've got to run them pretty loud to get the most out of them and I'd seen the capture racks but yeah it really was the kind of experience you want in the studio like I plugged it in it sounded good I flicked through some presets bam that's awesome go this is my Marshall lead 2x12 we've made two captures from this cabinet it's a Celestian Neo Creamback and a Celestian Copperback. Back in the day, we were touring in a small van. You know, space was um, at a premium. I needed something that was compact but didn't have any kind of compromise in its sonic quality. It's got such a lot of kind of warmth and depth to it, which you might not expect from just a 2x12. A lot of the really kind of big, thick, dirty tones that I use, those kind of big octave-driven tones, um, I'd be pairing uh, this cab together with the 1936 vintage, or I'd be using it just on its own. It, it really does deliver, you know, as part of a pair or just by itself. The next capture that we've made, we're calling it the Brick Breaker. The speakers in this are the classic uh, Celestian Greenbacks. This amp is primarily used across our records for a lot of the clean tones. It's got a terrific ability to cut through in the mix, and it delivers that really kind of silky, mid rangey warmth, but also has that that really kind of defined high. Yeah, it's, it's my favorite clean amp of all time. So my two bass cabs you've got here are the Evo 115 Neo and the Evo 210 Neo. And paired together, you get an awesome bass rig. You've got the 1x15, which gives you that real sort of low end thump, loads of dynamic range. And then the 210, which gives you some real mid range growl to cut through against the dirty guitars that size doing. Because my tone's quite kind of toppy and quite bright as well, the tweeter in that gives it a nice sort of crisp top end. Yeah, a real kind of funky tone to complement the, uh, the mid-range growl. The next capture that we did was my Marshall 1936 Vintage 2x12. This is packed with the Celestian G12s, which are the classic uh, design from the 70s, hence the vintage. These speakers are really interesting because they have a really, really focused low end, which is amazing for me because so many of our dirty tones are based on a kind of really driven low octave, and that can get really woofy and messy in larger 4x12 cabs. It really handles that really well and keeps my tone super focused, super aggressive, super huge in the low end without it just turning into a woolly mammoth of fuzz. It really is the classic, has been, 50 years now. So the next cab that we captured is this Ampeg 2x10, which we used uh, to reamp my bass on Amazing Things. And with this one, it's got custom eminent ceramic drivers in it, and you get a brilliant mid-range tone from this. So when paired with the Wamba 15 bottom end, you can get some real definition by bringing this in. We're calling this one the Peggy 210, great addition to kind of blend in with these other cabs. So all these dynamic IRs you can use within the Wall of Sound plugin. You can also use them in the Captor X and the Cab M Plus, but I love to reamp with the Captor X, so I'll be able to load these dynamic IRs straight into the Captor X and then crank my heads in my home studio through the dynamic IRs of any of these cabs as if I was here in the room at Decoy recording the album. Hope you enjoy.